I have um, seven children ranging from 19 down to three. Um, my oldest daughter just started college in Galway. Uh, I have four daughters first, and then I have three sons. Um, my youngest son is three. So my thought process was that now that my baby is getting a little bit older, he's due to start Montessori, this is now my time, this is my window, and I'm, I'm back to being mummy and mummy doing business. Hello, dragons. My name is Claire Coulihan, and I'm the founder of the Galway Food Company. I'm here today to ask you for an investment of 40,000 euros in exchange for 25% equity in my company. My background is in sales and marketing. I have an honours degree in business and I have worked in sales and marketing roles for IBM, Rank Xerox, Smith Klein Glaxo and Pfizer. Due to personal circumstances, I took a career break and I've been at home with my seven children for the last number of years. For the past two years, I've been researching a food business and I identified a gap in the market for a food brand with regionally distinct products from Galway. And so I launched the Galway Food Company in the summer of last year. Our first product range to market is an all butter shortbread with Galway flavors. As co-founder of Ireland's newest biscuit manufacturing company, Alison knows a good biscuit when she tastes one. But with unusual flavours like Galway Bay Lavender and Connemara Seaweed, will her fellow dragons show an interest? Claire, did I hear you right when you said you had seven children? I do have seven children, yeah. Well, you look remarkably fresh for somebody with seven much. children. I eat a lot of seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that must be it. <laughs> Where do you see this product fitting? This product fits ideally into the local Galway market. It will roll across nationally. Galway itself is such a strong brand. We're the friendliest city in the world. We're bidding for the region of gastronomy, the capital of culture. We have so much going on in Galway and it's all positive. There's a very positive provenance and attachment to Galway. And the export market is just, I mean, the, the potential is, is huge. One of the questions I suppose that we, you'd have to have is, obviously the Galway Food Company works really great in Galway. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Cork are very proud of their food tradition and uh, other places are proud of theirs. How, how do you think it will play out? I don't see that as being a problem. I think I accept that it's very hard to establish a food company and a new brand, but I think that comes down to the branding strategy, the marketing and the communication. It just takes an awful lot of noise and that's where the effort needs to go into the actual branding. Luckily, it is a positive brand. It'll be an easy job to do. And I honestly, well, for example, um, Rachel Allen, uh, I met just before Christmas and she loved the product and I've just been approached by Ballymaloo to have it stocked down there. So I took that as a huge compliment that mm. they actually approached me to go down and, and have it stocked there. In your presentation you suggested you had a very significant life event that changed the path of what you were doing. What was that? I separated from my husband and I was left with nothing and I had to start again. So excuse me, it's a very difficult time, um, but I'm a great believer in positive and this is about my children. So, sorry, I wasn't going to get emotional. I know, but these are sort of emotional things and... Uh... Well, unfortunately, um, my marriage didn't work and I... Um, so I had to dig deep really into my reserves and into my stamina and I pulled it out and I said, you know what, kids, we can do this and we can go forward and we have done. So the kids are all involved in the business. They're very much part of it. Um, from design, my, my nine-year-old son picked the colours. Um, my th third daughter, who's 15 now, is an extraordinary baker, and she gets involved in that. And uh, it's been a long journey, and there have been a lot of curveballs thrown at us, but I'm very positive, and I'm very strong, and I have a lot of uh, determination and resilience. And here we are. And they might... The children are very proud of you, no doubt. Uh, and equally me of them. Yeah. Mm. Claire, the, the biscuits taste great. Uh, they, they really do. Thank um, you. Particularly like the seaweed one. Um, seaweed is very hot at the moment as an ingredient. And, and I think in, in Ireland, and particularly in Galway, we're, we're, we're blessed to have a, a source of it. Absolutely. What, uh, what are you planning in terms of other products to, to, to work on around the whole seaweed theme? Well, I believe there are at least another two, if not three, 
biscuit related in, in sweet and also in savoury. And I think the natural progression is to move down along that line. So I'm constantly looking for ideas. I think the seaweed is just so there uh, and it's so underutilised. And we're an island surrounded by seaweed. Um, the other really interesting thing that has happened to me is that I've been approached by a, a Galway delegation of Chinese. And they are absolutely amazed by a seaweed shortbread. And they've invited me over to a trade fair in their village, which is 2.9 million people in August of this year. So I've no doubt that when I really actually put my mind to it and look for these channels, that there won't be any issue finding them. I just haven't got that far yet. Claire may be only trading since December 2015, but her unusual biscuit flavours are already attracting international interest. Eamon wants to find out more about her costs. Claire, we haven't talked about the, the price point. So um, per unit, which you're, you have in front of you there, uh, it leaves the factory floor at two euros and eight cents. It goes into the retailer at 3.22 and an RRP of 4.95. I know it's a, it's a special product, but is four ninety five a high price point or interesting question? Mm. Uh, in certain shops, it's not. In other shops, they would say that it is a little bit high. And what I would be trying to do as I scale up would be to find economies of scale to bring the margin down a little bit, or to bring sorry the price point down a little bit. What do you think would be if you had an ideal price point so to support it going mainstream, what do you think that would be? Do you know, I can't honestly say. I can't give the answer to that. I, I don't think it's going to be that much lower. Yes. Um, right. it, it really will. I'd have to work, and I've discussed it already with my production partners, uh, and they've sort of given me um, volumes as to where they might be able to look at that. But we're not really at that stage yet, so I couldn't honestly say. OK, Claire, thank you. The, the shelf life, you, you talked about extending the shelf life and so on. Where is it now and what do you need to get it to? And does that impact, say, the ability to have an online business for export, for example? Currently, it is a six-month shelf life. Uh, on talking with um, my knowledge provider, they think that can be stretched to nine months. That'll take a little bit of time, um, but it's anticipated that that won't be an issue. The Galway Food Company has the potential for high sales in China, but with a short shelf life and a high price point, could this go against Claire? Claire, what's the, the shelf life of similar shortbreads on the market that, you know, that would be in the sort of fresh space as opposed to mass produced? It ranges between four months and nine months. Really? Mm -hmm. Claire, I love what you're doing, um, and I appreciate your, your battle. Mm -hmm. And you're right, you are strong. Thank you. But food is not my area. Mm -hmm. um, and the shelf life in particular makes me feel um, nervous around it. OK. And for that reason and that reason only, I'm out. OK, thank you. It doesn't fit in with uh, my portfolio, so I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you very much. Claire, I love the biscuits. I love Galway. I love you. But I really can't help you on the food side of this. Mm -hmm. So I'm out. With the mainstream biscuit market worth over 200 million euro a year, are Eamon or Alison willing to take a risk with artisan shortbread and a local brand? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm very impressed with you and what, you, what you've done, your background. Um, I think just the problem for me, it's a, it's, it is very much a Galway brand for a while. I think you're going to have to establish your relationship there and your reputation there. Um, before it's, it's, it's going to travel somewhere else. Uh, for that reason only, uh, I'm out. 
Thank you. Claire, as, as you may know, I'm in the biscuit business. And uh, I'm at the other end. I'm very much at the mainstream end, mm -hmm. end of this business, which is a, a very different play to this. I'm certainly available to mentor and give you any technical assistance that would help. Mm -hmm. um, but just from my por portfolio perspective, I'm, I'm kind of involved in biscuits already. Mm -hmm. So please accept my offer if you can of any, any mentoring. But unfortunately, on the financial side, uh, I'm out. Thank you. It's been fantastic to see so many women particularly coming in with really good ideas. It's a good product and she'll make a good living out of that. Yeah. She deserves to succeed. Perhaps a little bit early stage for the den, but I went in and I, I gave it my best shot. And definitely Alison's offer of mentorship, um, I'd, I'd be taking her up on that.